Legends video today. Yes. So, we got the anniversary reveals uh, for the Dragon Ball Legends uh, third year anniversary. Man, I'm, <laughs> I'm stuttering my words here. Um, I've played Legends since it very first came out. Um, I always go off and on on Legends, right? Because, I mean, you guys know me. <laughs> Your boy's a little bit of a whale, so it's like I start to get a taste for Legends. I've always really had fun playing Legends, right? And it's then all of a sudden, before I know it, I'm summoning and summoning, and every unit is Zenkai 7, and it's like, uh-oh, why don't I put this down for a little while? <laughs> I'll come back later. Well... Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is the the main anniversary unit for Legends. Um, I would say that is definitely a very good thing. Um, he looks really good in-game. Uh, all of these games have been pushing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean, Fighters, now Legends, Dokkan had an amazing one. So, to me, it sounds like it's a concerted effort by Shueisha, um, to push, you know, potentially, like, GT or Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't know. I mean, but it's definitely, when all these games just drop the same character at the same time, it's, it's pretty clear that it's not just, like, each game's individual decision, right? There's no way, right? Um, so, Gogeta, right? I'll definitely be summoning, um... We will see how things are going to go, how deep I'll go, uh, what characters I would like to get, you know, what showcases I might do or anything like that. Because, again, I am rusty. I haven't played Legends in about a month or so. Um, I was start Before I stopped, I was starting to get a little bit better, right? I was, I was able to get the charge step down and some stuff like that. But, again, this is the type of game... I, I feel like a lot of people will say that there's not, like, a lot of skill involved and stuff like that. Like, you're just tapping the screen, but... Like, there's definitely a lot of, like, knowledge and, like, experience that goes into playing Legends, right? Being able to anticipate what your opponent is going to do and stuff like that. So, I'll be a bit rusty for sure, but um, I'm definitely excited to hop in. Because, I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is just, like, his aura, his swagger, like, everything about him. He's, like, one of the hypest Dragon Ball characters to exist. I think he's just, again, he's just so sick. So, Legends, one thing I really love about what Legends does with these main anniversary banners is it's not like, it's like, oh, like, here's, like, you know, like, our one legendary finish unit or our second legendary finish unit. Here's, like, one other unit. They're, like, here's just, like, ten units, dude. Like, have fun. Like, that's, that's what Legends does. They're just, like, here's ten units. Have fun. So, I love that. I, I would actually really like if, like, Dokkan for the seven-year anniversary, rather than just, like, one LR and one new unit on the banner, I'd like several new units. I think that would be really fun. Um, maybe more so than, like, older characters, right? So, again, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, they're introducing Ice Shenron right here. Now, what's interesting about Ice Shenron, right? Um, this guy doesn't even have a really good version in Dokkan. Right? Like, like, Ice Shenron is pretty much, like, um, unrepresented. Again, there's a lot of units coming. Like, there's an EX Super 17. I, lo I love that. <laughs> so yeah, Ice Shenron is a little prick. But, like, so, like, we've got a bunch of units coming, right? Ice Shenron is coming. Nova Shenron is coming. Um, you know, there's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. There's a Kefla. There's an LF Merge Zamasu. There's a new Vegito Blue. Like, they're just putting out so many characters. Um, I remember last year... So, Nova has a barrier, by the way. That's going to be... It, it's one of those things where these characters that have barriers, if you can, like, full-screen combo out of it, it's going to make Nova very good, right? Like, if you could use that to get priority. So, like, like if a character's going to, like, shoot, like, a, a just a normal blast attack and you could hit that barrier and then you could combo off of it, that's going to make Nova a problem, right? So we'll see if that's actually going to be a case for him. Here, of course, is a new Kefla. The thing that's interesting about this Kefla right here, um, a lot of her animations actually seem very similar to uh, Dokkan's Kefla animations, right? Like, like if you look at her, um, I think it's her ult. Her ult coming up, it's, like, the same thing as, like, uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Kefla Dokkan animation. Yeah, this one right here, right? We'll see. I doubt... This Kefla is going to be as annoying. And that, that's her, that's Kefla's... Like, she does that in her active skill. Yeah, like, her active skill from Dokkan. Like, all the, like, sort of same animations. But I doubt this Kefla is going to be as annoying as the OG green Kefla. She was a problem. All right, so we have Vegito Blue here. Um, definitely cool to see another Vegito Blue. A lot of people were anticipating, actually, a transforming Vegito Blue. Um, but that's not what we got right here, right? This is just, like, a, a normal Vegito Blue. 
Um, I, definitely there will be like a transforming Vegito Blue at some point. I'm sure we, we might see fusing characters mid-battle at some point as well, so. That does look good. Like, Legends, they, I feel like they do do a really good job of, like, making, like, these models look good. Like, these animations and stuff like that do look fairly good. So, here's Merge Zamasu. Uh, Merge Zamasu is a legendary finish unit. Um, so, that's going to be good. Uh, obviously, it's going to be very difficult to pull. Uh, his purple Bukaki version. Dokkan doesn't really have a great version of this guy. Like, there's two... Like, he's in... Do like, there's two cards of him in Dokkan. Neither are really that good. Um, Dokkan needs, like, a potential best suit in the game. So much of this is just him getting hit. <laughs> Why is so much of his video just him getting smacked around? That's so weird. Okay. Does he not... Okay. That looks good. That, you know what that reminds me of? Like, uh, when the LR Goku Black and Zamasu, like, the way they sort of, like, finish uh, their animation in Dokkan, where he kind of, like, like zooms, like, he slides past. Like, that looks good. That looks really good right there. But the other thing I noticed, there's no way, right? Hold on. He doesn't have Blast Armor. That says ult, and it doesn't have Blast Armor. That sucks. Okay. Well, sure. Um, and then finally, we've got the big boy. All right, hold on. Let's let's do this. So, that right there. So, Gogeta, right? He's got one of these cover changes, just like UI Goku, where a strike or a blast, you can kind of just toss him out there, and he'll just sort of block it and reset both characters to long range. That's really powerful. And then that... Baka! I heard that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait. So, first off, he has Blast Armor on his strikes, which it look, looks like. He had Blast Armor on his uh, special. Like, it was a dash forward sort of special attack right there, right? Or was that... That wasn't his green card, was it? It was. Okay, 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 okay. That... The, the bluff was a green card, it looks like. And then here's his alt. This looks so good. That right there, that little zigzag, that reminds, that's like um, uh, Kakashi in the Naruto Storm does that. And then this is my favorite part right here. So he does, he, this is the Gogeta Blue, like, you know, finish. I love that so much. I really hope Dokkan copies that. Like, we need to copy that on Dokkan. Absolutely. Give Gogeta one. Oh, yeah, do we ever. Um, what's funny about seeing this Gogeta in Legends right here, he's doing several things that aren't in Dokkan, right? Like, this is not in Dokkan yet either. His little, um, like, his little fake, like the little fake Kamehameha or whatever. This right here. This is not in Dokkan. Boop. Baka. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Gogeta's looking pretty sick, though. I'm definitely excited um, to see Gogeta. You know, we got a lot of other things. Like, we've got all the character kits. Seems like the main thing they're pushing here is uh, GT, uh, Fusion, uh, and uh, Future are, are sort of like the three main tags they appear to be buffing. Uh, there's also several EX units. There's an EX uh, Super Baby 2, an EX Super 17, an EX Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and an EX uh, Rose Goku Black. Um, I mean, dude, uh, Legends, they can't go five seconds out doing Goku Black. It's crazy. What's funny about that, too, is that Dokkan has, like, all of Dokkan's Goku Blacks and Zamasu's are just, like, they're just, like, completely dead in the water currently. Like, you've got the AGL Rose EZA, who's very good. But a lot of the other, like, Le like uh, Dokkan, Goku Black, and Zamasu cards are just really not that relevant, right? Then you look at Legends, and it's like, Goku Black dominates the meta. Like, you could easily... There's more than enough to run a full, like, Goku Black team, right? 
So a lot of these characters look at dude, the, the Legends artwork, of course, is always super sick. Um, there's Samasu right there. Uh, here's the kit for Blue Vegeta. Look at that art. That looks so good. The Legends art often is just absolutely incredible. Here's Zamasu. They're calling him Half Corrupted. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I personally like going with uh, Purple Bukaki uh, Merge Zamasu myself, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, let's see. So he's on God Key, Future, Regen, Fusion, Patara, and Power. Oh, my God. You can, What are his Z abilities? It doesn't say? Okay, well, we don't have it right here. Um, he's on, dude, he's on so many teams. Wow. All right. All right. So there's our boy Merge Zamasu right there. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's coming. Oh, they're going to be playing, um, the Dragon Ball GT, uh, first opening, uh, during, uh, what is this? Just says in game. So I assume it'll be for both PVP and summoning. Uh, if you guys remember, it was very similar to, um, when UI Goku came out and Gogeta Blue came out, they had like uh, themes playing, which was really cool, right? Um, is there anything else of any note? Yeah, here's the Goku Black again. There's also a Super Saiyan Three Go Tanks, um, and then yeah, we we have the info for Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. He does seem a little bit um strong, <laughs> uh, you know, GT Fusion or Saiyan. Oh, uh, I see this and it's like Dokkan, can we please? Put the Kefla, Gogeta, and Vegito on Saiyans, please, and Dokkan. There's no reason not to. So, let me know what you guys think of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta uh, coming to Dragon Ball Legends for the 3 anniversary. I believe these drop in about 24 hours, so tomorrow's going to be a busy night for me, man, because Gohan comes out on Dokkan as well. Dokkan, there's morons, right, for dropping their banner the same day as Legends Anniversary. So it's going to be busy. So, I, you know, I'll, I'll do uh, the Gohan summons. Uh, I'll definitely do some Legends videos. You know, I'll do a showcase for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I'm sure. Unless I don't pull him. I mean, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what my luck is going to be. So uh, let me know what you guys think of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Legends. I think he looks very, very good. Um, I, I think uh, they added a lot of cool animations and stuff like that. The only thing... Um, that they didn't have, uh, the only, like, sort of, like, I don't know if I want to call it a criticism or a complaint here. I'm going to pull this up. Um. Real fast. Because I, I, I put this in, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. This is what I put in Nano's DMs earlier to signify I wanted to collab. So, this is Gogeta and Fighters. The way he sort of creates that, like, he kind of, like, like, moves his arms back, and then, like, the energy comes out. That looks so sick to me. That's not really what he does in Legends, right? He kind of just puts his hands forward and then just creates it, right? Like, see, like, here, we'll show it. So, like, here it is in Legends. Again, he just puts his hands forward and creates it, right? That's my only sort of complaint, is I wish he would do the same thing he does in Fighters to create. That's uh, something about that. Like, that's like, it's like he's, like, building it. Like, it just feels more powerful to me, right? Like, you guys have to get what I'm saying. That's my only complaint. But I think, you know, like, oh, the the fake out Kamehameha, I think the fact that they gave him that little Gogeta blue finger flick, like the energy flick at the end of the Kamehameha, all of it looks so good. So, I think Legends so far is off to a very good start for their anniversary, but they must repent for their mistakes from the two-year anniversary. They need to give us Zenkai Red Pycon and make him one of the best units in the game for the three anniversary. They have to, it has to be done. They have to repent for their mistake last year. They've got to do it, right? Uh, Zenkai Red Pycon. I'm calling you out, Legends. I need to see that this anniversary. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. なかなか楽しめたぜ。